Good day, my name is Maria Julina Aldea and I'm a BSA student second year from St. Vincent de Ferre College of Camarín. I will discuss about a bond market and some key points of a bond market. The bond market is a marketplace where debt, securities, and bought and sold. Bonds are essential IOUs issued by governments, municipalities, and corporations to raise capital. When you purchase a bond, you are lending money to issuer in exchange for regular interest payments and the return of the principal amount of maturity. Um, um, here's are the some key points about the bond market. Um, number one, types of bonds. Um, we have uh, four types of bonds. Um, number one is a government bonds, municipal bonds, corporate bonds, and uh, international bonds. Um, government bonds issued by national government to, to finance their operations. Example, include U.S. Um, treasury bonds, German bonds, and Japanese government bonds or uh, JGBs. Um, number two, municipal bonds issued by state and local governments to fund um, public projects such as in infrastructure development, municipal bonds often offer tax advantages. Number three, corporate bonds issued by corporation to raise capital for a various purposes such as um, expanding operation or funding acquisitions, corporate bonds can range from investment grade or lower risk to high yield or higher risk bonds. Number four, international bonds issued by foreign governments or corporation in currencies other than, than the inventor, invent, investor's home currency. They may often exp exposure to different markets and currency. Um, the next is the bond characteristics. We have four bond characteristics and number one is a coupon rate, maturity date, face value, and yield. Number one is a coupon rate. The interest rate paid by the issuer to bondholders express as a percentage of the bond's face value. Number two, maturity date. The date when the issuer repays the principal amount to bondholders. Bonds can have short term or less than one year, medium term or one to ten years, or long term or over ten years maturities. Number three, face value. The principal amount of the bond that will be prepaid at maturity. Number four, yield. The effective interest rate earned by bondholders taking into account the bond's price and coupon payments. It represents the returns to investors can expect from holding the bonds. The next is uh, bond pricing. Um, bond pricing can influence based on changes in interest rates, credit, quality, and market conditions. When interest rates ri rise, bond prices generally decline and vice versa. This is because newly issued bonds with higher interest rates become more attractive, reducing the demand for existing lower yielding bonds. Bonds with higher credit ratings and lower default risk generally have lower yield and higher prices, while risk riskler bonds have higher yield to compensate investors for the increases risk. Um, the next is a bond risk. We have um, four 
a bad dress. And number one is interest rate risk. Number two is a credit risk. Number three is liquidity risk. Number four is a call risk. Um, number one is interest rate risk. Um, it is uh, changes in interest rates can impact bond prices. When, when rate risk, existing bonds with a lower coupon rates become less attractive, um, leading to the decreases in their market values. Number two is a credit risk. Um, the risk that the issuer can that issuer may default on interest payment to fail to repay the principal amount of maturity. Credit ratings provided by ratings agency assess the credit worthiness of bond issuer. Number is a liquidity risk. Some bonds may have limited trading activity, making it changing to buy or sell them to the de um, desired prices. Number four is a call risk. Certain bonds can be callable meaning the issuer has been optioned to redeem them before maturity. This can result in bondholders receiving the principal amount earlier than expected. Next is a bond market participants. Uh, we have a four bond markets participants and number one is issuer, institutional investors, fin um, retail investors, and bond traders. Um, number one is at issuers, governments and municipalities and corporations that raise capital by issuing bonds. Number two, institutional investors, institutional investors, pension funds, and insurance companies, mutual funds, and other large financial institutions that invest in bonds on behalf of their clients. Three is retail investors individual investors who purchase bonds for, for their portfolios number four is our bond traders professionals who buy and sell bonds on behalf of clients or for their firms um, proprietary trading uh, um, the bond markets provides investors with a range of options to diversity, they diversify their portfolios, generate income, and ma manage risk. It is essential to carefully evaluate the credit quality, interest rate environment, and invest investment objectives before investing in bonds. Professional financial advice can be val valuable in mitigating the complexities of the bond market. And that's all. Thank you.